So is there kind of a chip on your on all you guys' shoulder then, you think, after? Definitely. Uh, you know, a lot of talk has always been, you know, DBs have been the, you know, the worst group, and we take that personal. So it's one of those things where just in the DB room alone, um, you know, everyone is is serious. You know, we have our fun, but at the same time, we're, you know, this, this is all business. And um, I, that's kind of how it is with the rest of the defense. Like I said, us sprinting to the football, that's something that we are really installing, you know, instilling in us, you know, as we as we go through this fall camp. Does it feel like your senior season? It seems like it's kind of flown by, huh? Yeah, it, it seems like just yesterday I was a freshman, but, uh, you know, now I'm living the, the senior life and I'm loving it. You know, I'm enjoying every every day, you know, to, to the fullest. So that's all I can really say about it. What do you think about the guy behind you back there, Heisman finalist, and how how's he improved and what's he looking like so far? Oh, Bank is, Bank is awesome. Uh, you know, it, he's improved just basically just he, – he's a, he's a person that's always always willing to learn. You know, it's, it's kind of like you can never really say too much. You know, you, you can keep on talking to him. He's just wanna, he's going to want to keep on listening. Uh, he'll always ask me, you know, what coverage were you guys in or what were you showing? So it's just one of those things he's always trying to learn on the fly just like I am. And, uh, you know, just for that, it makes him an uh, even better player. What's it like having Lincoln around the defense a little bit now? And how, how do you think he's doing? Uh, Coach Riley's doing great. He's doing a fantastic job, basically in controlling uh, practice, controlling the offense, controlling the defense, and uh, you know it, it's been an amazing, amazing journey so far. Just through one week of of, uh, of fall camp, I can't wait to see what the, the next two weeks hold for us. I know you guys have the one one game at a time approach. But that Ohio State game is there, game two. Does that something that keeps you on your toes, even if you're not necessarily? You know, looking into that game and knowing you got to be come out of the gate strong and fast. I guess. Uh, I mean, it keeps you on your toes, but like like I said, I mean, you got to take it one game at a time, and that's how that's how we all think. But, you know, without this game, you can't go on to the next game. So we got to take it a game at a time, and uh, we got to respect every opponent that we play. Stephen Mike Stoops said. Um, he said, we know what the standard is here, and we know the num what the numbers were last year, and we know they weren't good enough, and we know we have to improve. How does Oklahoma improve on defense? Oklahoma improves on defense just by a re relentless attitude to the football. Um, and basically just that want uh, to basically, you know, be, be a top defense in the, in the nation. And that's how we've basically been playing with a chip on our shoulder. Has that been missing? Uh, I said, I don't past? say it's been completely missing, but I, I just feel like there's just been bits and pieces that we, we haven't ironed out completely. And uh, I feel like those pieces are finally getting ironed out now. So it's some, maybe you could say it's like the little things? The or little things. Is it exactly. effort things too? or, or? Um, I, I would say it was kind of some effort things, but uh, it wasn't too much. I mean, everyone wanted to play. It was just one of those things where you got a basic sprint to the football. I mean, even if it's 30 yards away, 40 yards away, you know, you, it, it's relentless attitude, you know, to basically go make that play. And I feel like that's kind of how the whole defense is playing.